Gordon Moore actually hypothesized this uh, in 1965. I'm not sure I became aware of it until after I'd been in the industry for a while because, you know, quite frankly, it takes several years to test this thing. And uh, there were times working in wafer fab where you feel like a guy down in the engine room and somebody quotes this thing to you and you say, the old man on the bridge is crazy. How that, where, where is this gonna go? And um, there were a lot of us that ultimately thought once you got down to wavelengths of light and other kinds of things like that, that you wouldn't be able to go any farther. Well, somehow with high contrast photoresist and things like that, we're able to go on and on. There will be a limit here, though, uh, when we get down to uh, atomic levels, and I think we're getting, I think we're getting close, to, close to that. So it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it is going to run out of gas. But for a law that was hypothesized in '65, and here we are, let's say, let's do the simple math, 2015. I mean, uh, that's uh, you know, uh, a, a pretty damn good run for uh, for uh, a law like that, and. You know, it's it's something he figured out by just putting some dots on a semi-log plot and constant compound growth rate.